Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be reacting to this pre-order trailer for Crash Team Rumble, and I will give my thoughts on it. Plain and simple as that. Oh my god, I was low-key loud. For the first time or before. Okay. That's what I expect that's what I expected. Pre-order for closed beta access April 20th to the 24th. That's nine days after my birthday. Cortex, okay. Okay, that's the main objective. June 20th, 2023, just, what, two months, two months after the beta access is over, the closed beta access, yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna be honest, man, I'm not feeling anything, like, it's weird how it was exciting seeing, like, the reveal of Crash Team Rumble, but, like, now that we actually got to see it, I feel like this was a bit underwhelming. I'm not mad at the announcement, like, for the pre-order trailer. That's exactly what it is. It's just a pre-order trailer, but it's also a pre-order trailer just for us to run our pockets to get access to a beta of a title that is coming out exactly two months afterwards. Now, I know that Canadian Guy A did, like, a... Info dump, uh, info dump video with one of the developers of the game. He got in contact with one of them. I did not watch that. Uh, I've been kind of like just laying low when it comes to um, Crash Bandicoot, and I feel like based on what I've seen so far, it just looks like an ordinary four v four. It's just extremely freaking chaotic. Um, I know there's a shield mechanic. Tana still has like her little lasso mechanic from It's About Time, where she can like latch onto something and then fling herself to the other side dangle dial can still you know float with his gun his cannon gun or whatever that is uh his bazooka i think that's a bazooka i forget what the hell that is but i know he had it in crash 4 that that thing right there his weapon account to play crash team rumble Activision account and internet connection required. PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live Gold subscription may be required. No, they are. Otherwise, how the hell am I going to play online? Cross-platform play uh, available among the PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One players. Okay. So, I don't think it's really that big of a deal, personally, like having to make an Activision account. Um, because that, to me, tells me... That, to me, is telling us the consumers that the game is on a specific engine like specific not engine um specific net code you know what i mean maybe activision has specific servers about it um when it comes to the games like online infrastructure or something like that that's my that's my like takeaway from it um i'm optimistic about the game but like i'm not exactly excited but I'll give it a shot, you know what I mean? If I like it, I like it, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to pre-order it. Uh, I don't know if I'm really trying to pre-order it just to get access to a beta. That's, I mean, four days is a, a, a good little bit. That's not really, that's not really bad. Um, How much is this shit? Hold on. Bro, is this a full-blown $60 or $70? Standard edition. Oh, it's $30 for the standard edition? That's actually not too bad. Uh, what about the deluxe? Forty dollars. They, they ain't too bad. Maybe I'll get the deluxe, but only when I like feel it absolutely comfortable. I'm not really um 
I'm not in a rush to try out the closed beta, though. I mean, even if you get the standard edition, you get access to the closed beta because you're still pre-ordering it no matter which version. It's kind of funny seeing everything, like, kind of go haywire online in regards to this whole thing. But I honestly don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, Crash Team Rumble, I don't think would be the first game where you had to have an account for a specific company's, like, game. Like, doesn't Epic do that with uh, Fortnite or something like that? I I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but, like, I just don't think Crash Team Rumble would be the first to do something like that where you have to make an account for the company that's publishing the product in order to play the product online. I just think it's an infrastructure thing. I don't really know, but uh, I could be entirely wrong. You know what I mean? This could be doo-doo for all I know, which I hope not. But, uh, you know, it's, it's healthy. It's perfectly fine to be, like, cautiously optimistic. And that's what I am. I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm not really, like, too bent over about this to be honest so i mean i guess that, those are my thoughts on the whole thing um the trailer was cool you know what i mean it served its purpose it's mainly just for the pre-order it's not a gameplay info uh it's not like a gameplay thing specifically uh canadian guy hey, shout out to my mans i met him in person like a handful of times he's a great guy he's cool uh oh man this is a lot to digest i have to look into this uh <laughs> i have to look into this later but those are the heroes you missed the E-Air fam. And here are the powers. Is that a fucking locker? And a plant? And is that like a relative to nitrous oxide? What the hell is... That's actually a model of Dangle Dow in his blocky form. It's similar, but not exact. Okay, it's similar, similar. That's so weird, though. That's like... Why don't they just do freaking skins? I'm going to slap a like on your video, my man, if you ever see this. I'm going to just I'm gonna slap a like on, like on it because, you know, I actually support you and shit. And shit you're cool. But um, anyway, um, why don't they just do skins for, like, you know, like, why don't they just give Tana her skin from freaking, like, I don't know. I feel like they just kind of could have been a bit more creative. Maybe I'm being ignorant. Maybe it's in this video for all I know. I just haven't watched this because, I mean, I'm just, you know, again, I've been laying low when it comes to the whole Crash Bandicoot stuff and everything. But, like... Yeah, I don't know, man. It's it's interesting. That's all I can really say. It's interesting, but I'm not angry or anything. Thank you all for stopping by and, uh, you know, being patient with me when it comes to this whole thing. Because, um, yeah, I'll be seeing everything, though I may not comment on everything. Uh, but, yeah, you all take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.